Hello, it's Nancy. Today, mini day. Okay, now I have a I have an idea. If you want to make a little container, you can do it from a branch. Now I like birch because birches are pretty. But I think you could probably do it with lots of containers, or lots of kinds of wood. What you would do, you need to cut. You're going to cut two sections out of a branch. Now the trunk of the tree is fat. When the tr when the branch leaves the trunk, it is fatter than it is further out on the branch, right? The branch gets thinner and thinner and thinner. So in order to in order to do this, you're going to need two sections. One of your sections is going to be about that big, right? You're going to make two cuts in your branch. And the other section is going to be smaller because this is eventually going to be a lid. Now this needs to be bigger from, from closer to the trunk down your branch. So you're going to, because this is going to be the lid and it's going to fit over. So what you're going to do after that, after you've got your section of branch, you're going to hollow it out, but not hollow it all the way through to make a tube. You're going to hollow it, but leave a bottom. You're going to leave some room in the bottom so that you now have a container. And because birch bark is waterproof, you've got a little waterproof container. Boy, is it ever raining? going to have little little sides that come down. So you're going to do the same thing that you did with the big one, only it's not as it's not as long. It's only shorter. So you leave a lid in that lid and you leave the bottom in the in the base. And then all you have to do is carve around the inside of the lid enough that they fit fit nicely on top of each other. You don't want this to be too big. You don't want to get a lid that's way bigger. You know, you want them to fit properly and stay together. Isn't that a neat idea? You can, any branch of any size can become a container. Isn't that amazing? I never thought about that before. So of course now I'm onto something new. I'm making containers out of birch branches. I have one that is almost done, but I didn't I didn't leave a base in it because it was rotten wood. I ended up removing all the rotten wood, which was very easy, just wiggling it around and pulling the rotten wood out. 